Now let's bring back meteorologist Ron Smiley to talk more about the weather. And what I find fascinating about this week's forecast, Ron, is you're talking about temperatures in the 50s at the end of the year. Hey, yeah, we certainly are. And in fact, I'm talking about temperatures in the 50s this afternoon. I mean, we're just a couple of degrees off of that uh, right now. Check out where we are. 48 degrees right now with what looks to be partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies where I'm standing here uh, on the, in the South Hills. But the airport is showing it overcast at this point. Even with those clouds around, man, temperatures have soared already. That's on the backs of those winds basically out of the south. A little bit of a westerly component at 15 miles an hour, gusts topping 23 miles an hour at this point as well. It is going to be a warm one out there today. In fact, I've had to bump up our temperatures already. I'm going 53 now for your expected high. But with the changes, we do have a chance for some rain. Let's talk a little bit about that. I can't rule out completely that you won't see maybe a passing shower or two through about 5 o'clock, but most, if not all, of our rain arrives after five or six o'clock tonight into the evening hours and lasts throughout the overnight hours. Part of that also, by the way, the back end when we're kind of wrapping up our rain could come in the way we're expecting it to come in the way of some snow coming in. So here is the front right now. You can see it just off to our northwest. We're in what we call the warm sector at this point. So that means we get a deep flow of wind coming in out of the south and there's that warmth that we are seeing for all of the New England states. It is uh, enjoyable out there if you're stepping outside. So actually, I don't know why it went down to 49 degrees for your high temperature today. I actually put it in at 53, and that 49 is even lower than what I had earlier this morning, but eh, sometimes the weather computer wants to do what the weather computer wants to do. 49 is what it's saying, but 53 is what we're now forecasting for a high. Hey, here's a look at those temperatures for you. 48 in Pittsburgh, Cranberry 47 degrees. It's already 50 in Greensburg, Connellsville at 51, and Waynesburg at at 51 degrees. So we have a number of places already hitting that 50 degree mark. Now these temperatures are correct. One o'clock, 49 degrees, four o'clock temperature coming in at 52 and your seven o'clock temperature coming in 47 degrees. So you can see just how warm it is expected to be as we're heading into the evening and the overnight hours also but with those temperatures right there. Hey, I want to show you just kind of what we expect with the uh, rain showers coming in tonight. You can see at about six o'clock places along south and even north of I-80 will likely be seeing some rain at that point. You'll be dry for the next couple of hours down along I-70. Pittsburgh will see the lion's share of rain probably after 7 through about midnight. And then at about 1 or 2 o'clock, we'll see some rain, maybe some sleet, should say some snow sliding through our area. By 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, it's all down around Morgantown to the south where they could see some decent snow amounts. So we'll watch closely for that. Overall, your rain chances will split the difference. 40% today, 40% tomorrow because of just how late and into the evening and overnight hours it is. It does look like we should be dry after that through New Year's Day, at least the morning hours. You can see those temperatures right there with those temperatures that we're expecting. Here's your seven day 50, your high temperature today. The 48 on Thursday, a little misleading. The afternoon temperatures will be down around 40 degrees. Your Friday high of 53 with afternoon rain around, but at least we're counting down to 2021 with dry conditions here in Western Pennsylvania.